When the idea came up and when Ron approached me about going down and riding all these vintage motorcycles, you know, the whole team was excited. In fact, it was almost impossible to, to figure out who could go. He started rounding up all his motorcycles that he had stuffed away in barns, he had in storage areas, he had them in this underground vault. He goes to the last one in line and fires it up, kickstarts it, and heads out onto the gravel road that led to a, you know, to an old worn highway. And saying, hey, this one's got such and such a shift and you need to be careful with that, and, and off you go. And then he'd go back in and he'd start another one. To me, it was like, these things are all priceless. Like, you can't scratch them, you can't touch them wrong, you can't do anything to harm them. And he's treating them like they're popcorn. He's just like starting them up and saying, here, go ride this one. Like, seriously, I get to go ride this? And he just started starting bikes up and just handing us bikes. And he just kept rolling bikes out and we kept riding off on them. Everyone that you got on was completely different. They had so much character when you actually got to ride them and interact with them and kind of meet them in person. These bikes we rode were non-restored, so they're just as they were. So when you're riding it, the sound, the feel, the vibration, you just felt like you were back in the day. You have to throw some of the conventions that you've come to accept, like a right hand throttle out the, out the window, and to try to get that right hand to stop, and I'm gonna use the left hand. A left hand throttle, a right hand ignition, a right hand shift. Suicide clutch, and we don't know the, the shift pattern. Probably never even touched an Indian before that. And then to get to ride one, it's just like, this is so cool. One of the first impressions for me was to realize how low and how horizontal and how the seat was almost the same level as the tank. It was almost the same level as the triples and how it felt like it wanted to just take off out from under you. Every part's whittled down. It's minimal. They were styled, but very functional. Every one of those bikes is, is really a piece of art. You know, some of those design insights didn't come until I swung a leg over and started to you know, experience it and ride it. And there's so many things that happen to me when I get to interact and when I get to compare it and have those bookends of those other bikes around it. My knowledge went up another level about those engines and about what I, what I wanted to do. All that changed so dramatically after we did that ride. The part that we want to carry forward with the new Indian motorcycles is really that feeling that you experience when you're riding the bike. If we don't get the engine right, it doesn't matter what else we do. The, the engine is the single most important thing in a bike. Because it is, it's a motor cycle. You take the motor and you wrap the bike around it, you know, and, and that's what a motorcycle is. I feel pretty confident that people are gonna look at it and they're gonna say, wow, you know, I see why it's an Indian. This will be a top five moment. This will be one of the things that I tell my grandkids about and they'll be amazed and say, oh, that's your grandpa and he was a part of this. We're resurrecting Indian motorcycle. It just touches me deep and it, it just makes me happy to know that someday these are gonna be back on the road and everybody can enjoy this great brand again. When the world sees this engine, they're gonna understand that Indian is back.